Let me just show you a bit of my own backstory, Charlene. I, uh, I would love that. I was, I was a lawyer for many years. I was an equity partner in a law firm. And unfortunately, I had a relationship breakdown with my, my business partner, which led to um, me eventually um, demerging from that practice and, and basically the business split. And it was an incredibly tough 12 or 18 months. Um, it wasn't just that there, there was a relationship issue. When there are problems in the workplace, it filters down to all of the team. And it was an incredibly difficult time because it was emotionally driven, but there was still hard work to be done. There were negotiations going on. And I found it incredibly difficult. I did neglect my well being during the period. Um, I certainly experienced high levels of stress and anxiety. I think I, I underestimated the impact it had on me because in, for an, I didn't seek any sort of, you know, formal closure or any sort of help or discussion or counselling after it was over. I just tried to keep working at 100 miles an hour on what was effectively my new business. And it took me quite a few years to work out that I really just needed to to find some closure and, to, and to, to prioritize things other than work. But you know what? It's a funny one because it was an awful period. It really was. But I'm I'm quite grateful for it now insofar as the fact that I was resilient enough to be able to push myself to my physical and psychological boundaries for a period of time I think is a key reason why I was able to progress my career to where I am now. So I, it's funny, I feel like it was a great experience for me, even though it was so awful at the time. I thought it was character building, it was resilience building. I'm just sort of playing devil's advocate here. Is there any danger that in presenting the argument that wellness is, is key, which I, I, I do agree with, but is there any danger that we discourage people from pushing themselves to their full extent and that in doing that, we might restrict them reaching their full potential? I think that's a great question and particularly one that is hyper-relevant when we think about generational conflict. I think definitely without wanting to point any fingers at any generation per se, there is a tendency nowadays, and again, just you know, not wanting to make too broad or too wide a generalization, there is a tendency to navigate a little bit towards excessive um, use of wellness as a pushback to ultra level of commitment to hard work. And one of the reasons I know that is very often when I work with top partners, equity partners, managing partners, they do have some struggles with the management of their trainees because the trainees are more demanding of their level of self-care and wellness and are actually setting very strong boundaries. And when I think back about my days as the trainees, I would have never dreamed of saying some of the things that they say to partners and their level of pushback. No, I won't do that because I'm booked in for X, Y and Z. Look, uh, this is a whole different conversation and one that is very, very valuable. And is it deterrent to growing resiliency? I don't think so. But is it worth asking what you really want and what is the purpose? That is perhaps a really valuable question. So the work that I do with trainees that perhaps don't display the level of commitment is I do really a, a value exercise. So how do you see your career progress? You know, are you cruising, so to speak, and just sort of dipping your toes in the water, but not really fully committed to swim? Or are you genuinely committed, but want to maintain straight boundaries, which that is awesome, because that's the way to go to, to keep a sustainable career. But you, you do have to show a level of commitment and accept that there will be tough nights. And there will be tough days. And again, going back to the athlete, an athlete that's not willing to train hard, is probably not going to make it to the Olympic Games. Let's be blatantly honest. So I'm all about sustainability. I'm all about hard rest, but I'm also all about hard work. I think it's the equation is very much hard work, hard rest, right? That is 
bold science approve. You know, the, the, you, you can have really intense period of stress with very strong period of adequate recovery, and that leads to sustainable growth. If you have very intense of stress with zero recovery, that's going to lead to burnout. But if you have not enough stress with a lot of recovery, with nothing to recover from, that's probably not going to lead you to growth either. So there has to be that sweet spot and also a deep understanding that stress is not something to run away from. Stress is healthy as long as it's followed by adequate recovery. Stress will give you the drive, the motivation, the resilience that you clearly displayed and, and explained to us in such a beautiful way that, that we need. We, we, we want to have a healthy dose of stress in our life. And if not, then the legal profession is probably not the right one. <laughs> well, do you know what? That, 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 you've summed that up so well. I mean, I do agree with you that stress can be a very positive period because, I mean, this well known that when we're stressed, we are also learning fast. We're in a period of intense learning. I think there's probably something evolutionary about that, that when we used to, you know, hunt for our food, when we were stressed, it was quite often that we were in a situation where we could, we could find food uh, at some personal risk. But what I would say to anyone is that when you've reached, I'm 45 now, and when you've reached middle age, oh, I've got to admit it, and when you've reached middle age, I find it easier now to recognize periods of stress and struggle as part of a process. And as long as I can acknowledge that it won't feel like that forever, as long as I keep moving forward towards the objective that I'm seeking to achieve, and as long as I can view as part of that objective some form of reward, rest, financial reward, more family time, personal issue, whatever it might be. It's so important to keep going and not turn our back on periods where resilience is required. 